Hey guys and welcome to a brand new paper today. So today we're going through the Crash Maths Core Pure AS paper. It's just covers stuff like roots of quadratics, 3D vectors, volume of revolution and such. So it's a really good paper. I'll leave a link in the description below. So be sure to check it out if you want to go through the full paper on your own. But today I'm going to go through question one in this video. And it's a nice introduction to the paper. So we're looking at roots of quadratics and you know the relationship between alpha and beta. Alpha and beta, whichever you prefer, however you pronounce it. Uh, so try not to get annoyed by how I pronounce it. Um, but let's start with it. So, question 1a. So, a. So, we're told that this quadratic equation here has the roots alpha and beta. Write down the value alpha plus beta and the value alpha times beta, the product. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is get into the form where it's equal to zero. So, that means it's going to be 2x squared minus 5x plus 6, minus 5x plus 6, and that's equal to 0. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide through by 2. So that gives me x squared minus 5 over 2, x plus 6 over 2, which is 3, so plus 3 is equal to 0. So now this makes pi a really easy to see. Remember alpha plus beta, so alpha plus beta well that's the same as minus b over a so I've set it up here so it's just the minus of this so minus minus 5 over 2 so that's just going to be 5 over 2 if it helps it's just the same as doing minus this divided by this so minus 5 so it's minus minus 5 so 5 divided by 2 and then the product alpha beta um, I really struggle doing the bit, uh, alpha symbols on this mouse. Um, that's the same as c divided by a. So 6 divided by 2, which is just this here, which gives me 3. So that's part A done. Part B is a hence. So you're probably going to use the first part to help you with this. So keep these in, in mind um, and see how we can use them for part B. So we have to find the value of this. So it's alpha plus 2 times beta plus 2. So to help with this, expand this double bracket here. So what's the other bracket going to be when I expand it? Well, it's going to be alpha beta plus 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus 2 beta plus 4. Now, this doesn't look particularly helpful at this point. We've got alpha beta at the front, so that's going to be 3. Uh, we've got a plus 4, so that's going to be, you know, 7 when we add them together. But we've got this 2 alpha plus 2 beta in the middle, and we don't really have much to help with this. But notice I can factor out as a 2. So what I've got here is alpha beta plus 2 lots alpha plus beta plus 4. And we know alpha plus beta is 5 over 2. That's what we've just worked out. And this is why it's a hence question. So alpha beta, that's 3. That's equal to 3, plus 2 lots of 5 over 2. So that would be 10 over 2, which is just plus 5, plus 4. So that's the same as 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 4 gives me 12. And there we go, that's part B done. And then finally, for part C, we're given the quadratic equation 4x squared plus ax plus b is equal to 0. And we're given that this, or we're told that this has the roots a squared plus b. Uh, alpha squared plus beta squared, I'm getting carried away with the English alphabet again, and we have to find the values of A and B. So, the clue to this question and the key to spotting how to start this is using what you've got in A here and B. So, how do we do this? Well, remember, we're dealing with alpha squared here and beta squared. So, what this is actually is, is alpha plus beta all squared. But that's not all, we have to subtract minus 2 alpha beta because if you do alpha plus beta squared and then you know expand it, you're going to get an extra term of 2 alpha beta here. So we subtract it off to get it as alpha squared plus beta squared. So that's minus 2 alpha beta. And then what we can do is just sub in the values that we know here. So alpha plus beta squared, so that's 5 over 2 squared, so that's 25 over 4. 25 over 4 minus 2 times alpha beta, so minus 2 times 3, so minus 6. So 25 over 4 minus 6, that's going to give me 
just a quarter. So that's the first bit. So that's a quarter. So that's the x term here. That's going to be the coefficient in front of the x. And we now need to work out this b on its own. And we'll work out b by doing the same that we did here with the product alpha beta. Um, but this time we're going to square it because again it's the roots are alpha squared and beta squared. So this is the same as doing alpha times beta and then squaring it. So what's alpha beta? It's going to be 3. So squaring that is going to give me 9. So what I know now um, as the, the equation would be x squared minus a quarter so it's remember because this is a positive here and you're doing the minus when you do this so it's minus in this case so it's minus 1 over 4 x plus 9 is equal to 0 but remember we're working with the equation 4x squared and here this is x squared so we're going to have to scale it up and we scale it up by timesing it 3 by 4 so if we times this 3 by 4 now what am I going to get? well I'm going to get 4x squared perfect that's what we need 4x squared that's going to be minus x, and that's going to be plus 36 is equal to 0. So therefore, a must be minus 1, or alpha, uh, yeah, it's a for this one, and then beta, uh, b even. Oh, I hate working between alpha and uh, a, and then b and beta. So b will be 36. But that's the full question done, so the first eight marks of the paper. But hopefully quite a nice introduction to the paper, and again, the paper is in the description below, so just be sure to check that out.